Hey, this is Austin, and today on Check 2, we're looking at the Parallax Zoom. To pull this off, you're gonna need a zoom crane, you're gonna need a camera, you're gonna need a power zoom lens, and you're gonna need a zoom camera control cable. Links to all of this stuff can be found in the description below. All right, so uh, before we get started, let's take a look at a couple of examples. This first shot is a parallax zoom, shown alongside some other disorienting camera moves, such as this dolly zoom. Using a variety of these moves together in a dreamlike sequence produces some really cool effects. Here's another great parallax zoom as these girls pose for a selfie, followed again by another dolly zoom. These effects give the audience the impression that the world is zipping by around our characters, similar to how the wedding day actually feels. It all happens in a flash. The simplest explanation of what this move is is simply to revolve around your subject while zooming the camera in or out. We place a gray card on a stand to act as our subject. This is a great way to practice. As you can see, as I started orbiting the subject, I had the lens zoomed all the way in. I used the control and zoom crane to zoom the lens out. This is how I created the effect. It's always easier to begin this shot zoomed all the way in because as you move around your subject and you're zooming out, your field of view will become larger and it's easier to keep your subject in frame. I like to shoot this at 60 frames per second at 1080p. That way I can put the shot in slow motion and further add to the dreamlike atmosphere that the shot creates. An alternative way to get this shot is to shoot at a higher resolution so that you have room to punch in. For instance, if you're shooting at 4K, you can start rather far back, punch in and post, and as you orbit, you can keyframe the shot to back off digitally. However, I wanted a method that would work completely in camera. So I hope you enjoy this breakdown of this really cool trick called the parallax zoom. Remember to employ camera movements like this with story in mind, otherwise they'll become just a cheap trick to show your friends and they really won't carry much weight. If you want more filmmaking breakdowns like this and more camera tutorials, please subscribe and remember, shoot first and ask questions later.